everybody, it's Kenzie Knox and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be painting the beach in the background with some sand dunes in the foreground. So it should be super fun and relaxing. So let's get started. Today I'm working on a 14 by 17 mixed media paper that's a prime with gesso. I've added a very limited palette today. We've got mid yellow, uh, burnt sienna, thalo blue, aqua green, raw sienna, titanium white, and cerulean blue. So add those colors to your palette and let's get started. To get started, I'm gonna go with my size 12 flat brush and I'm gonna spritz down my canvas with a water bottle. So spray that down. Take your flat brush and go ahead and move that water around a little bit. That will really help us move some paint along our canvas. We're then gonna take some titanium white with some cerulean blue. Get your brush a little wet, don't forget to do that. And then grab some cerulean blue with some white and just paint that in up here. We're going with a medium toned sky. So we get slightly lighter as we get down farther. So we'll grab some more white. Just bring that white on down. We'll add some clouds in after. Get your brush a little wet, grab some more white. Keep onto your dirty brush so that we naturally create a gradient. You don't want to overblend, but you want to blend it enough that you know it doesn't look very streaky. Grab some more white on your dirty brush and bring that on down. And we're going to bring that down to about right there. And then going to rinse off our brush. Wipe that off. Grab some thalo blue with some cerulean blue with some aqua green. Take that and we're gonna draw in our water line right about up here, about one third of the way down the canvas. Just draw it straight across. And then let's just paint in some water. Take some more color, just paint that in. Grab some more blue. And we're gonna stop around here. And then I'm going to take some titanium white with some raw umber, raw sienna, I'm sorry, raw sienna. <laughs> and mix that up to create this light brown color, tan color. And then just paint this in. This is going to be our sand dune, our main sand dune color. We're going to block this area in. So it's white and raw sienna. And just block this area in. Some more white with raw sienna. Bring that over here. We're just doing like crisscrosses and just sideways strokes or horizontal strokes. Allowing some of the paint to blend on the canvas. Give my brush a little wet and blending it in. Okay, from here. Oops, I was just allowed to rinse out your brush. Size four filbert brush. Size six filbert brush, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take some more white. Add a little phthalo blue to it to make it a little bit deep color with some cerulean blue. More white. Add a little burnt sienna to that. Just to warm it up a little bit. There we go. And we're going to bring these clouds. I just bring them in. We're gonna add more white to that cloud color. 
screaming over here. And maybe some over here. I'm coming down here to the horizon. And maybe some over here. Grab some titanium white with a little bit of cerulean blue. Be careful, cerulean blue is very potent. I just want a light blue color. We're just gonna go above this cloud. Here and up here. I'm gonna rinse out my brush for color to mix. I'm gonna grab some more of that cerulean blue color. And a cloud up here. And a cloud here. Put something in here. Oops, I'm wearing the wrong color. Grab more white, just white this time on our dirty brush. Just add some clouds up here. And some over here. And some up here. over here. some white down here. Like that. Then maybe like some white ones over here. Up here. Some more white for these top ones.
Okay, and when you're happy with your clouds, you can rinse out your brush. We're gonna grab some Thalo Blue with some Aqua Green to make a nice little turquoise color. And grab that, and we're just gonna add in some waves. Back here, get your brush a little wet, tap off the drips. Pick up some paint. Grab some aqua and some white. Rinse off a brush. We're gonna add some aqua with some more white. And we're just gonna take this. Just tap in some waves, just tap. Foam up here. Grab some more white, and we're just going to tap around here. Just come up with a little bit of aqua and white. Just to show the seashore. Grab a little aqua. off your brush. I'm going to take some burnt sienna and some thalo blue. You're going to get a very dark brown color. I'm going to take that brown color. I'm going to start a sand dune up here. And we're going to have sand dune here that comes around this way and then drops down to about there. I have another one right around here, coming down. I have another one around over here, coming down behind this one. And then another one over here, a little bit in front, coming down again over here this way. Then one right here, coming down. Got some more burnt sienna, the yellow blue. We have another one over here. Coming down. And then another one over here. Coming up and around. Something like that. Okay, rinse off the brush. I grab some burnt sienna. Paint this up a little bit. Some burnt sienna. Some burnt sienna. Some burnt sienna over this one. Some burnt sienna. Rinse off your brush. Now to show that this is going down and whatnot, we're gonna take, take some raw sienna with some white. I want it lighter than this color. I'm going to take that and paint this in right over back here to make it look lighter. Rinse that off. I'm going to take my size 2 filbert brush here and we're going to paint in some of this ground here. So I'm going to get that wet, tap off the drips. I'm going to take some sky blue, which is basically the other blue and white, and some crimson. I mix those together for this purple color. I'm going to take this purple color, add a little white to that, just a little bit. I'm going to take this and come up over here. 
and down and a little bit over here, just in the shadowed areas. Bring that over a little bit. Bring that over here. This is all gonna be shadowed. This is gonna be shadowed. See, so I'm assuming the sun is coming this way, so this will be shadowed over here. It's gonna be shadowed. And behind here is gonna be shadowed. Again, that's sky blue and crimson. Oops, I just took that right into my crimson and a little bit of white. this. Over here. Into here. A little bit over here. Some right around here. Around here. Some little footprints. Get your brush a little wet if you're having trouble with that paint moving out of your brush. And we can bring some over here. Bring some over here. Put a little up in here. Over here. It's all really green. Then a little over here. A little bit coming down the hill. Right here. There's some coming out of here. Little footprints. Here's some track marks from like. Take some sky blue, a little bit of white, just a little bit, just to lighten it up, just a hair. Take that over here, take some down in here, some behind here, some up in here, down here. I'm going to draw in some grasses, so I'm going to take my size 2 flat brush. You can use any flat brush or whatnot. We're going to do a thick bunch of grasses first, and then we'll do the um, thinner grasses. So I'm going to get that a little wet, tap off the drips. I'm going to start with some Indian yellow. Some Indian yellow with phthalo blue. A little bit of white. I'm gonna take this Indian yellow or yeah, this olivey green shade and come up here and just start pulling that on. Send it over. Keep pulling it over. By here. 
and add some over here. And then some down in here. Just quick little short strokes. Grab some more. Let's see, add some over here. Some shorter ones. Of course. Again, that's phthalo blue, but it's a lot of Indian yellow. A little bit of white. Opacity. And take that. And then we're gonna add some grasses up in here. These ones might go a little bit higher. And take that green and go up higher over here. And then down. I grab some sky blue with some crimson, crimson to get this purpley color. A little more crimson in there. And add some of this in here. Grab some more purple. We're just gonna add that down in here. Grab some more crimson. With a little bit of maybe some sky blue. A little bit of sky blue and like that darker purple. Add that in here. A little bit over here. Add some over here. Some more purple. Add it over here. That over here. Add some up in here. Can add some over here. Grab some Thalo Blue with Crimson. A little burnt sienna. Let's take this color. Some more red. Then over here, all the in here, and over here. set off. Gonna be orange red. I can add one of these over here. In here. Over here. Go 
for here. And so over here to to warm it up. And then some left. And take some Indian yellow. Some raw sienna. A little bit of white. And take this color. I'm gonna add this on top of the green. Over here, one here, that's one over here, some back there, and that's one here. Take some more of that actually. Add that there. Add some in here. Can't rinse it off. Grab some more white into that color. Add a little yellow. And then take this color. And add the new color. Grab some more. Start angling them again. Grab some more. It's Indian yellow, raw sienna, and yellow. Put some white. Take some of this and put it over here a little bit. Some here. Some back here. Some from here up. And I rinse it off with a bit too much paint on my brush. We get on the tip of my brush. Pull it out this way. This way. Here, pulse not here. Okay, rinse that out. A little bit more of it. Pull that again. Rinse that out. Okay, have a little bit of some sky blue for that color. Sky blue that color give you this light green color. I take some the other blue. Some of this color. It's just a little deeper version of it, a little more the other blue. And take this green color. A cool green, we're gonna add it over here. Some over here. Down here. And take some yellow, some yellow blue, and some aqua. 
more yellow. And yeah, this green color, it's a beautiful green, a little more yellow. I'm gonna take this green color, add some in over here. That's one right in here. Some in here. Some in here over here. A little bit over here in the front. A little bit over here in the front. A little bit here. A little bit here. And up over here maybe. Okay, rinse that off. And grab some Indian yellow. Some aqua. I'm ready to get this color green. Take that into here. Got that green. Add that back here too. Add a little bit in here for a highlight. A little back there. That's in here. Add a little white to it. Take that over here. That's in this in here. So this lighter yellow too. We can add it back here. Okay, rinse that off. I'll put some back in here. That's that yellow. Not umber yellow and Indian yellow. White. Takes more of that color. Just add that in. Okay, we're almost done. This is super exciting. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone's doing well. Okay, so now we're gonna add Unbleached titanium white for the palette. Your size zero filbert brush to add titanium white, unbleached titanium white. I'm just gonna add some unbleached titanium white around here. Little scoops where the sun's hitting. You can even take some unbleached titanium white with a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow. Grab some white. It's coming along the ocean back here. And the sea foam. We're gonna go back over some of the waves, grab some more white. Let's tap in some more waves. Some more waves. More waves. Okay, 
Then up in the clouds too. Oh, and if you come down to it like I did, no worries. Let's wipe it back up. Take that white and start tapping over here again. I'm just gonna take that real orange red color again and bring that over here a little bit. A little bit up here and over here. A little bit here. A little bit more over here. Now we're going to take that raw umber Then I'm going to take some phthalo blue with some burnt sienna Take that Come out over here Out over here a little bit in here. Some in here. Some in here. Okay, rinse off your brush. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit more white. And we're pretty much done. Take some white in these high spots over here, some back here. Take some more white. But you know what I want to do actually? Take some of this raw umber and bring it right here. Take a little bit more and add it back here. And through here. A little bit in here. And then maybe some over here. I think I'm going to do a little sky blue, a little bit of white, take that and come over here. Let's go over some of those.
Okay, now we're done. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Okay, bye.